Hey there, it's Brittany and I'm back with a tutorial and a new challenge that I'm doing in my bead group. Um, it's called the Alphabet Challenge. Today is A, so it's the first day I'm using some African beads. Um, I did not get these beads in Tucson this year. I think I got them in Tucson last year, but I did get this batik. Actually, these aren't batik bone, these are carved. Um, bone beads I got in Tucson this year at African Village, as well as these African brass beads. So. A for African on day one. Um, you can take whatever license you'd like with the daily challenge. So it could be B for Brittany or B for Batik or bead or bead box, whatever you want. So every day we're doing a piece. It could be a piece of art. It could be a quilt. It could be um, making your own beads, a ring, a necklace, whatever. Um, make something using something or referring to something with this the letter for that day so today is day one um, I'm not gonna do a video for every single day I will be posting every single day in my bead group on Facebook if you want to follow along there so I want to do something really fast because it's late and it's Sunday and um, I have to work in the morning <laughs> so I'm going back after a week vacation not not really what I want to be doing <laughs> so uh, I just want to do something really fast actually I think I'm gonna use this um, leather that Emma sent me like three years ago still have a lot of it left so I think this would be fun um, and I'm gonna use these three and I got some of these in Tucson these spacers so we'll see if I need to use those and then probably a filler bead or just leather in the back because I'm not gonna use all of these big beads um, uh, I'm not going to use up all my beads like that. So, let's see. And now that I think about it, I could probably just use the leather, like just string on what I'd like, and then just use the leather in the back and tie it with some wire. So, obviously, I want the pendant. made a necklace like this in a long time. I do have another one that's not similar, but um, uses some leather and a shanty beads um, and a big brass pendant that I did. I don't know if I did a, th I don't think I did a tutorial now that I'm thinking about it. I think it was just a finished video or finished jewelry video. Either way, we're just gonna have fun. I'm not thinking too hard. These beautiful beads will stop the show themselves. Sorry for that dog barking in the background. I hate opening African beads because they're so well strung. They're so beautiful when they're strung. Um, I want to have some smaller beads here. Um, the problem I'm going to run into, I know it, is that the holes on some of these beads are not going to be big enough. And I don't want to use those. Let's see. I think I got these in Tucson either last year or the year before. I did hit this seller this year, but they didn't have the deals that they had before. And they said it's just, you know, with the way things have changed, they can't afford to have the prices they used to have. And I get that. I totally understand. All right. So I'm going to kind of just do one side and then we'll finish the other side once I get the pattern that I like. Okay, I don't love it, but I don't hate it. That one's too thick right, right up against the pendant. All right, and then I'm gonna grab my Ashanti beads. The haul for these is coming, or the haul for, the rest of the hauls are coming. It's just, it's a lot of work filming and then, you know, editing. Editing is what takes the longest, for sure. All right, put one of these on, put a bone bead on. Now I want to test, I'm just kind of testing, see if I need to put a spacer between each one of these. 
that's something I haven't done before. Not something I haven't done before, but something I haven't done with the shanty beads before. Sometimes I just group them together, put a whole bunch on. Oh, well, that's cool. I like that. And then two between. Uh, yeah, love that. I love it. Okay. So let's see. Oops, I did two there. I like that. I'm going to do that a couple times and then I'm going to put one of these on. Um, I'll show you once I get it finished. Okay, that's my pattern and I'm sticking to it. I'm actually, that's all I'm going to put on this side. The rest is just going to be leather up the back. I'll probably just put a knot here once I've decided how long my necklace is to hold the beads in place, but I don't even really need that. I just, I'm going to do it for aesthetic purposes. All right, I'm going to go ahead and string the other side. Okay, so I've completed that and I kind of marked with my fingernail where I needed the end to be around the back of my neck. Um, and then I am just going to use two jump rings, probably just, I could do two different, one of two different things. I could tie right onto the jump ring or you can use some thinner wire and wire wrap onto the jump ring. So I ended up marking the two spots with a pen just so I don't have to keep figuring out where it is. And I'm going to grab some brass wire. Actually, yeah, I'm going to grab some brass. I have this 20 gauge brass. It's a little darker, a little brassier than gold. Um, come back up there. And I'm just going to wrap, uh, wrap this wire around the leather, get it started, and then go around until it looks how I want it to look, basically. Thinner wire would probably work a little bit better, but this is what I had open and available right away. There we go. I'm going to snip off this little piece and then cover that up with the finished part of the wire. You absolutely do not need to use this much wire, but that's what I had out. I'm going to snip off the excess, and then I am going to um, kind of tuck that in. Actually, I don't need to mm, yeah, tuck it in. I snip part of that wire right there, but it's just the outer layer. There we go. So I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side, and I am going to trim this as closely as possible. There we go. Okay, I did the other side. I'm just going to open that jump ring up and slide on a clasp. This copper jump ring is a little softer 
than I thought, so I probably would have used something else. I could just slip that out and put a different one in there, but we'll see how it performs over time. You can always add a different one. And then um, I'm going to just close it. This design was super simple, came together really quickly. Honestly, I just picked out three beads in the pendant and I was like, let's go. <laughs> so I'll obviously put on some photos of it after I'm finished. I am gonna leave this, I'm just gonna let it do its thing. I'm not gonna put a knot there, but you could if you didn't like your beads moving around. I think it's really fun. That blue um, gives it a quick punch and um, the good thing is, the brown and the brass are neutral so you could pretty much pair this with a lot of different things so thank you so much for watching um let me know if you're thinking of joining the alphabet challenge you don't have to post a photo you don't have to interact in the bead group but if you want to follow along that's so much fun i love to see your creations um check out the group the link is in the description i hope you have a fantastic day stay tuned for goldie she's super cute Bye bye Hi. You're such a good girl, you sleepy girl.